Arlo and Aliens from Galactica 5 by Mirren John Humbug. Once upon a time, a spaceship from Galactica 5 landed on Earth. The aliens who came out of the spaceship were very different from the humans on Earth. They had blue skin, large eyes, and long tentacle-like arms. Despite their appearance, they were very friendly and curious about the humans on Earth. Arlo sees the aliens and asks, Hello, are you an alien? Alien, greetings, I am from Galactica. Yes, I suppose you could call me an alien. Arlo, wow, that's amazing. I've never met anyone from another planet before. What's it like on Galactica? Alien, Galactica is quite different from Earth. Our planet is covered in vast oceans and lush forests, and our cities are made of crystal and silver. Arlo, that sounds incredible. What brings you to Earth? Alien, we were fascinated by Earth and wanted to learn more about your planet and its inhabitants. Arlo, well, welcome to Earth. What do you think of our planet? Alien, your planet is beautiful in its own way. We were amazed by the diverse cultures, languages, and lifestyles on Earth. Arlo, for your info, we live only up to 100 years. I'm curious, I've heard that some aliens can live for millions or even billions of years. How is that possible? Alien, ah, uh, we have developed advanced medical technologies that can help us repair and replace damaged organs and tissues. Alien, Arlo, I am in need of a drop of very pure water to survive. Can you help me? Arlo, of course, I'll do everything I can to help. But how do I get such pure water? Alien, it must be pure, uncontaminated by any minerals or impurities. Filter water from all your oceans, boil and then I will purify to make one drop of water I need. Arlo, I see. That could take a while. But I'll do my best. After some time. Arlo, okay, I've collected water from all over the earth, from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains. Alien, thanks, now you can use my technology to purify it further and extract a single drop of pure water. Arlo, I did it. I have one drop of the purest water on earth. Alien, thank you, Arlo. This will sustain me for a long time. Your efforts are greatly appreciated. Arlo, you're welcome. It was an honor to help you. Alien, Arlo, I have a proposition for you. Would you like to visit Galactica 5? Arlo, yes, that would be amazing. How will we get there? Alien, I have a small class B that I can use to transport us. I can compress you into a tiny size, and you'll be able to fit inside the bead. Arlo, wait, you can compress me into a tiny size? That sounds a bit scary. Alien, don't worry, Arlo. I can fit 5 billion people of Earth in this bead. It won't hurt, and you'll return to your normal size once we arrive. Arlo, okay, if you say so. Alright, I'm ready. Let's go to Galactica 5. Alien takes out the glass bead and Arlo steps inside. The alien presses a button and the bead begins to shrink. Arlo feels a strange sensation as his body compresses into a tiny size. Arlo, whoa, this is so weird. I can't believe I'm actually this small. Alien, hold on tight, Arlo. We're about to take off. The alien activates the bead and they shoot off into space. After some time, they arrive at Galactica 5. Alien, we're here, Arlo. Are you ready to be uncompressed? Arlo, yes please. 
The alien presses the button and the beat expands, releasing Arlo back to his normal size. Arlo, that was amazing. I can't believe I just traveled through space in a bead. Arlo, wait a minute, I just realized I'm not wearing any clothes. Alien, don't worry, Arlo. We don't use clothes on Galactica 5. Our bodies are adapted to the environment, so we don't need them. You'll be just fine without them. Arlo, really? That's so different from Earth. I'm not sure I'll be comfortable without it in clothes. Alien, I understand, Arlo. But I assure you, you'll get used to it. Our bodies are adapted to the environment, and we don't feel the need for clothing like Earthlings do. Arlo, okay, I'll try to adapt. But it might take some time to get used to it. Thanks for showing me your world, Alien. It's been an incredible experience. Alien, you're welcome, Arlo. It was my pleasure to share my culture with you. Arlo lives with aliens for 10 million years before returning to Earth.